Hey guys, good morning. We're testing our new rig. It is Friday morning. Happy Friday. I'm going to be talking about the setup in Beyond Light for Season of the Hunt. What to do, how to get it, and exactly what you'll need to do to get to getting four pow powerful rewards every week. Now, it is definitely a, a fun activity. It's a little different. And it will enable you to get some pretty some 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 good gear for powering up. Um, I did want to talk a little bit about the uh, sandbox update. There was a big update came out yesterday. In case you didn't know, Wither Horde is back in play again. So I played with it yesterday a little bit. Seems like it's okay. We're gonna play my hunter. I already have this artifact. This this. This, uh, the lure, some of the things we need for the hunt is already done on my other two characters, so we're going to use my hunter today, who's my least powerful, but still above the, the soft cap. So, things that we're going to need for today is definitely you're going to want to have guillotine for your setup. Uh, having a good sword is going to be a big deal for this. <laughs> Going to want to make sure we have, I like the war mine cells are wonderful for being able to uh, get stuff done. So make sure you have something that can generate war mine cells. That would be a Kilos or a Seven Seraf, one of the two. And I'm going to go ahead and probably put on my uh, my Traveler's Chosen here as a follow-up. I usually like to have a, a, a better weapon for this. So I'm going to move over to my Inventory Manager over here for a second. And I'm going to grab something from here. Let's see if I can do that real quick. Give me one second. I'm going to see if I can dro uh, drop Wither Horde over there real quick so I have something that will do some... Some uh, I usually don't like to run what's called double primaries unless I there's a reason for it. I do like that this gives us our grenade ability back, so I may choose to, you know, some of our abilities back, so I may choose to go ahead and run with that anyway. But let's pull up our item manager and throw it into our inventory just in case we don't like, you know, just in case we don't like the way that's rocking on that. So I'm going to throw that over. All right. So I've got that thrown over the fence for right now. I'm not going to worry about whether I'm 12 something. I'm not really worried about my light power at this point. I am rocking stasis, which I think in this case I'm going to, you know, I don't have, I haven't done anything with stasis on this character so far, so I think I am going to actually go ahead and uh, change my setup here to run void. And I only say that because I haven't powered up anything on this character yet in that, in that regard. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put my Orpheus rigs back on here. And switch this back over to full. What was I on void? I was on arc. So let's go ahead and run this back over on void. There we go. Yeah, you guys see my big, my big ass sparrow back there. I got this the other day, and I've been debating whether or not I want to use it or not. That thing is just huge. It is cool looking. I gotta give it that. I think I'm gonna put move it over to my Titan. It definitely looks like something I run. I rock on my Titan. So what we're gonna do is the first step to this, and no spoilers, but we are gonna have to take a trip over to the moon for this. And over on the moon, we're gonna meet our buddy Osiris, and of course, a character we have not seen in the story for a very long time. So. Uh, and also, you know, ended the story as a villain for us. But let's go ahead and let this uh, play out so you can see what it's about. I'll go ahead and uh, yank the volume up a little bit here so you can hear and see what's going on. For the past few weeks, Osiris has been trying to assess the damage caused by the return of the darkness. He believes that Zivu Arath, the hive god of war, 
6 to take advantage of the power vacuum left in its wake. Osiris was investigating physical manifestations of her magic near the Scarlet Keep when... His ghost, Sigiro, was slain. Osiris delivered a message through a secure channel requesting that you personally aid him in this hunt. He's desperate, Guardian. I need you to save him from himself. I'm worried about Osiris. If Sagira's gone, then... Don't worry about me. But keep your voice down. I'm using an external comm. I thought I was hunting Sagira's killer. The high celebrant of Zivor Wrath. Now I think it's hunting me. Hit me in the hole of wisdom. We cut the transmission. We have to hurry. is in a lot of danger. Who are you? A concerned ghost. Osiris shouldn't be here, especially in his condition. We appreciate the warning, but we know what we're doing. If you and your guardian are here to help. My guardian, right. Osiris, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Blurring the high celebrants of the Shrine of Oryx. There. Damn. Break the barrier. Knows you're here. They're trying to keep us separated. Night is radiating strange energy. It is the high sun. The one that killed Sergei. Osiris, we're here. We get that barrier down. Close, close, guys. Retreated deeper into the shrine. I think this may have been a trap. The tower you saw on the way in, that's a hive cryptolith. It's a conduit of darkness. One of many. The high celebrant is using them to deploy soldiers across dimensions. Tempt others to Sivu Arath's side. If I don't make it out of this, I want you to tell Saint. Tell him yourself.
Osiris's way. We're closing in, but facing heavy resistance. <laughs> You're here! Finally! Is it done? Uh, uh, calm down to your... Osiris! We warned you it was going to be dangerous down here. Especially for the ghostless. And... I'm glad to see we're all okay, though. I'm glad, by the way. It's a pleasure to meet you all. Go on. Introduce yourself. They call me... The Crow. My boss wants to see you. Impossible. So, you know, as you see, we have the crow again, which is rather interesting. Uh, for those of you who don't remember, he was Prince Aldrin's original character back in D1. So, he has been reborn as a guardian, has no former memory of his previous self. So, he is now, doesn't remember killing Cade, doesn't remember any of his villainous days he just has memory that he was a good guardian at one point metal flaps or meat flaps since it meat flaps <laughs> i love the gamer tags people come up with Osiris lost his ghost. He's gone back to the tower to recover. You light mongers never cease to amaze me. You deal violence so easily, suffer loss so poorly. Such fragile killers. We'll finish what he started. And what's that? Hmm? Avenge, Sagira. Eliminate the High Celebrant. I had it in my sights. If your friend hadn't needed saving. You forget your place, little bird. My apologies, Baron. Now then. Perhaps we can help each other out, eh? I know how accomplished you are at exacting revenge. Sibor Rath is using her high celebrant and those damn cryptolids to corrupt Elixni. Cabal, too. But I'm losing soldiers and glimmer by the skip load. That's right. I know what Osiris was doing on the moon. I also know you'll fare far better. Leave us, Crow. The Guardian and I have terms to discuss. My little bird sure is something, isn't it? I have to imagine you share in my appreciation of fate's cruel sense of humor. I found it wandering the reef like a 
piece of windblown trash. Aimless, hopeless, no memory of the prince he was. Now, I could have sent him off to the tower, but we all know what's waiting for him there. I couldn't let that happen, so I took him in as a kindness. As far as his loyalty is concerned, I took a few extra precautions and made some modifications to his ghost's shell. Now, if he ever flies too far from the master, boom. That ugly business out of the way. Let's focus on what really The nice guy he is to do that. So he put a leash on the crow. I propose a partnership. By booby trapping his ghost. You go out there and do what it is you do best, and I'll uh, lend you the resources you need to get it done. Maybe even a little extra something on the side. Just don't mention the name Aldrin Soth. For his sake. So that is step two to get this uh, quest uh, started. That completes the actual quest to start the hunt. And now we're going to go visit with the crow for the next part. Uh, run over here. The crow is back over here in this room over to the left. And he is now a vendor. So... This sky has holes in it. And the whole system's in chaos. Of course, Zivo Arath decided now was the right time to corrupt herself and army. We call them Wrathborn. Most of them are elixir like Spider. Others... Well, Spider wants the lines of Glimmer open, High God or not. Ask me to help you deal with Zebu Arath's High Celebrant. Apparently, the Guardians of the Last City are old friends of mine. But I don't remember you. I found some Hive artifacts gathering dust in Spider's trove, and fashioned them into a lure. Wrathborn go crazy for them when they take the bait. I wish there were some other way, but her magic's driven them mad. Hunting them down is the only way to weaken Zivu Arath's grip on the shore. Like Spider says, violence is the only language the Hive understand. For now we can start small, work our way up her command chain. When we reach the High Celebrant, we'll take it down. Stop Zivo Arath from corrupting anyone else. Don't take this the wrong way, but it's nice to be working with another light bearer. Okay, so we're getting the lure now. And you can see here we now have bounties from him weeklies and dailies now he will reward a powerful for i believe it is five bounties uh five five dailies i believe it is so i'm going to pull out a fifth right here now the lure consists of a couple of things and you can see i've got a couple of these unlocked on another character right now so you can buy normally you would have to go um these you start off and it's like anything else in the game you level up so i'm working my way up to be leveled up for this i'm re reputation rank two of four now when you get to four it is going to unlock four powerfuls a week right now until you get to that level you can only get two um, you can also buy trophy mods, and uh, some of them actually uh, disallow certain characters, certain uh, um, things within the role, uh, certain features. So you have control to, and it's better to explain, I guess, from looking at the lure itself. So let's go look at the lure. 
So we now have this lure, and let's see. Oh, that's right. We have to get the lure from the table. We don't have the lure yet. The lure is right here. Okay. Now we have the lure. So we have to obtain a couple of things. We have to obtain a lure charge. So here we have the lure. And I do have a couple of charges already, so I will go ahead and, and arm one of those. So charges you obtain through doing activities like Crucible, Strikes, Gambit. And when you finish those activities, you will receive a lure uh, as a reward, a lure charge. So these are lure charges. Okay. Now for this character, I have not... I don't have any for this character because I haven't done any yet. So I need to do that. These are those mod slots that you put in. These are the the things that allow you to mod, to change the thing that you're rolling for. So these roll for different weapons. This rolls for Royal Chase, an armor piece, a class piece, uh, friction fire. So each, each rolls for different things, different types of mods. Now, I have not gotten powerful rewards from either of these things yet. So we're going to go ahead and... Um, Go complete a strike, get ourselves a mod, and we'll do one. So let's go ahead and run through a let's go ahead and run through one of these real quick. So let's see, what do we have? Melee, void weapons. So we'll just keep an eye on a couple of those. Let's go run through a strike real quick. Now I believe the strike has to be through the playlist. I'm not positive. It's a burn this week. It's arc. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I can worry about the burn on this later. For right now, let's just go ahead and quickly do a strike. Let's get a lure charge and show you how this works. So I am a PvE person. I'm probably, uh, as much as I am doing some uh, Crucible again this year, but uh, I'm going to do it when I have a my you know a fire team in place as opposed to random um definitely got some guys that i run with like platt uh random og they're very good uh comp players and we'll do comp because that will be the probably the best way for us to to get up from where we're at now to to level up into 1250 raid is tomorrow i, I don't know how many of you guys are planning to watch some groups I do plan to I do plan to watch Aztec Cross Gaming I hope they're I think they've got a raid group getting ready to go out for this so I'm excited about that It's nice to see Wither Horde back in the game. I love how that guy was following me around, even though I was invisible. Well, this guy's already up here.
Well, that was fun. A little glitch there. By the way, just f not that I'm advertising for them or anything, but by the way, every, all the uh, video playback, all the game playback you're seeing here is compliments of GeForce Now. Uh, I do pay for a... Um, it is not the free version. I do pay for it. It's five bucks a month. It's not anything big, but it is definitely... For those of us who... I have a PC that's more geared for work and things like that, not for gaming, even though I do have a decent graphics card. So... I love that. You see that? We got a, a Asian guy in front of us that, that, where his name is actually an Asian. It'd be neat if they would translate that so you could actually see what it was. But Got a little crew here for randoms. So I am on the uh, GeForce Now, which means I am playing on my PC account, not my Xbox. And this is actually the first time I've uh, recorded some new content for this year. Beyond Light has been uh, a fun campaign so far, so I have completed the campaign with all three of my characters. This one I have not done near as much, mainly because I'm kind of saving him for content creation, if that makes any sense. Wow, that went right through it.
didn't see that coming. All right, there we go. We have our lure charge. Now, if you don't have any trophy mods yet, which if you're first beginning, you probably won't. You will just, there's a thing that you can, you can slot that just has, you know, nothing in it. It is a blank trophy mod that will allow you to just use a generic uh, lure charge. Now, the most lure charges you can hold is three. And you're going to use one at a time. So we're going to go into our lure here. So we're, this will actually take care of this step when we do this. So we're going to go into our lure here. We're going to slot a lure mod so we can pick any one of these. Now, I'm not sure. Now, and you have to unlock these at certain levels. So these two unlock, I think, after you get to level two. Um, Royal Chase, I, I don't remember what that is. There's a chest armor piece, a class item piece, uh, friction fire. I don't remember what this is. So I'm going to slot that one. And then, as you can see, we have stability, handling, reload or charge time, um, a veto mod. So, as you see here, you can exclude certain perks, like killing one or substance, and make sure that threat detector, auto-loading, zen, field prep are in. Uh, same thing here, including threat detector. It excludes threat detector and auto-loading. And then we have another one here that uh, has killing one, substance, threat detector, auto-loading, but takes out zen and prep. So we can slot this mod or we can choose to slot something that has a masterwork for um, reload or charge time, depending on which one you get. So I think this is an SMG, so this would be load time. This would be reload. Let's uh, look here and we have, okay, here's another one. We can do another trophy perk. I only have one. And it excludes sympathetic and unrelenting, which is actually good. Uh, I would love to have Vorpal. Now, I don't know what Wellspring is. That is a perk I haven't seen. So let's see what happens. Now, these show up on a couple of different places. Um, depending on where you go. My, I've had most of mine show up right over here in the Tangled Shore. Uh, they do show up in the Dreaming City. Uh, so you just have to kind of look around and they will show up. So you can see this showed up right here in the mist. So we're going to go on over there. and So it has its own little thing you can set your site to, go to, and start. And what's kind of fun is a lot of people will jump in and help you when they see you doing it. So it's, a lot of times you're not, you're not by yourself doing this. But it's nice to do this with a fire team because all three of you can work on you know your stuff at the same time. What we found is, you know, different people have different things, but by helping with those activities, you're you're also, you know, upping your reputation, helping getting some powerful stuff. And we've had some stuff drop already. Let's take a look. We've had some 1211s drop already uh, in blues. Yeah, it looks like 1211 is the most common drop right now. Got an, got an 11, actually a couple of them, 10 and 11. And a nine, so, so nothing, we haven't had any powerfuls drop yet. I just want to make sure I've capped out on ammo here. Some heavy would be nice. I don't see it, so I don't suspect we'll get any of that. Usually, usually precision drops for me will grant me heavy. All right, cool.
Okay, they will leave this goo. On the ground. Here we go. Mine goes this way, theirs goes that way, so... Oh, okay. And here is mine. So this is part two. You find it, follow the trace, find this, and start it, and it's going to transform you into a different area, or transport you into a different area that you can, uh, where you actually have your finish off your hunt. And now there's two steps. One, you're going to finish killing the thing you just about killed, and then it's going to transform into something much higher. So just follow the uh, little strange glowing boogers here on the ground from the ogre. And this will lead you to where your actual fight is. Now in order to get the shields down on your boss, there are people, there, there are many bosses that will propagate and you have to go stand in their area in order to get them down and eh, nice that they booby trap the lure like that all right let's get ready so here's our ogre. Let's finish him. Okay, he's gone, and now our boss will. Who do we have? Oh, we have her. How fun. Okay, I believe these... Knights are our guys. Not good. So you do. <laughs> if you die, you got to start over. I thought I had my sword on, and I did not, and I just got killed. So these guys will hurt you, especially if you're not powered up. And my character is anything but powered up right now. Oh. <laughs> So I'm going to have fun with this video. A lot, of, a lot of people doing their content streamers aren't going to show you the crazy crap they do that doesn't go too well. And it is pretty early in the morning, but I am definitely not on my game as quite of yet. So let's get away from her. Kidding me, I'm out of heavy. She's probably immune already. Okay, there's some heavy. sure why that didn't happen. So I got a little bit of damage on her, not much. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I wish this guy was powered up. I am definitely not doing the damage I would like to do, but that's okay. Let's just go through this. 
you get to see me die over and over again. How fun is that? Your shield back up. Wow. Holy crap. <laughs> so, swords definitely might not have been the right thing to come in with with this one, huh? Well. You don't really know what boss you're going to get until you get to certain things. I had ogres most of the time. I can't do any damage to her. Come on. Oh, I should be able to... Where's our night friends? Oh, finally, some heavy. There we go. So, looks like it is a kinetic SMG. Zen moment, slideways, masterwork for reload.
600. Hmm. Okay. Decent range on it, too. Reminds me this might be a little bit like uh, no damage perk, but it does have a reload perk. So that is how you go about doing the hunt. Now, after you do two of these, you get currency for this. So, and also by completing the bounties. So these bounties will give you, some give you XP. And, and you can see these are just about done using void weapons. So these don't have to be done in the hunts themselves. These can just be done by running around. So if we're in this current little area here, we could probably finish off these two bounties. And that is how you do a hunt. I finished off one. Thing. I'm not a big fan of my seven serif right here. Is so it's the recoil is terrible on it. I like the perks, but man, the stability is just terrible. Let's go ahead and grab this chest out of here. This guy's about to drop. That's it. So I think we actually got through. What was this other bounty for? Rapidly defeat. Okay. Let's go finish that one real quick and then we're going to be done. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. But so the lure hunts will get you weapons. There's a new grenade launcher. There is a fusion rifle, I believe. You just saw the SMG, and you can also roll for armor pieces. There's class items as well as um, as well as specific pieces of gear. So you definitely want to. Uh, do you, and what's nice is you can alter them for whatever it is you need. Okay, one more. And that one's done. So, not mine, but I figured I'd help the guy out since I'm here. Can I actually see the goo on the ground? Nope. Or can I? Nope. Because this is not mine. So it's funny that uh, the crows... It's funny that the crows audio is included and added into things. Now, I don't know about you, but I mean, to me, they have... <clears throat> and the new game actually made everything look quite a bit sharper. The graphics are amazing. I am really 
quite amazed at how different it is. Everything seems to be just that much better. So, that's how you do the hunt. Now, when you get when you get this powered up to when you get your I need to go speak with the crow on the tangled shore and he's gonna obviously give me something here we'll go ahead and do that and finish it off but so when you get yourself another lure charge you will be able to equip it and you basically will use that again over and over again now once you get leveled up to a certain point and i can't show it here because i have a quest step so let's go do that quest step once you get up to level four on your lure and uh, you will actually be able to um get four powerfuls a week so right now it's limited to two until you finish that i probably said that earlier but i'm saying it again I'm not sure how much I'm going to do this activity. Uh, I'll probably use it to level, but there's so many other things. I am maintaining three characters, and there's so many other things to do within the game, especially with the raid coming up, <coughs> that I'll probably do this in limited form just to get some of my gear up to uh, hard cap. But other than that, uh, not really going to probably do this activity that much unless we just decide we're going to you know get a team together and go do it for fun which i think would be a lot of fun to get us to go do as many hunts as we could but because there's some grinding involved to go get lure charges and everything it's not you're not just going to be doing hunts now if three each of you get three charges and you're in the same fire team i'm not sure how that'll work but i think that would be fun that would allow you to do nine hunts in a row and uh, i think that would be fun so we might make a video doing that. But anyway, for now, you guys have a great day. Stay safe. And I'll catch you on the next video. Hope you learned something new and happy hunting.